Shalom, 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 Mr. Eric, brother. Why coming to you again on the highway, in the byway, bringing up the scars of the truth to edify the hopefully lack of the Asherala, our so called blacks and Americans and Latinos. One and two thirds of our people about their independent judgment coming to Great Babylon, America. That you saw the like the so called white man go. Your end is coming soon. Before we get started here, let's give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bao Shem, Yahweh Shai, Bao Shem, with the Kadash. Double honor to teach us others and apostles of great words, so likewise, but it's been on the truth. Faithfully fail to see feeding the sheep and the brothers and sisters of the Shalom. And guess what? Great Bible on America, you Americans, Trump is not going to save your sorry asses. Okay, you people are about to die very soon. Okay? So go ahead and ride in your metal coffin. Ignore this truth because the Lord is going to bring a big surprise. Okay, to you worthless eating Babylonians. Okay, let's go into the book. Lamentations 4, and starting with verse 21. Hey, because Esau, you're going to get it too. Damn crackers, y'all going to get it. You think you're just going to do what you did to Yasharala, get away with it. You got something else coming for that ass, okay? It's Lamentation 4, it's on verse 21, it reads, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Oz, the cup also shall pass run to thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. Being exposed for the wicked nation that you are, okay? Being exposed for the hypocritical nation that you are, okay? Being exposed for the murderous nation that you are, a coward that dropped bombs on innocent people, okay? That has, that has made slavery and mockery of the true biblical Hebrew Israelite here in Great Babylon in America, and even across this earth, wherever Jake goes, okay, we are persecuted because of this doggone damn devil, Esau the Edomite, the so-called white man, okay? Now you people are screaming and crying about, Ooh, we're losing our nation, they're invading us. Oh, you haven't seen no invasion yet. That's not the invasion coming across the border, okay? That's just a terror that's coming across the border, brought over here by your damn government, but also there's a mixture of those Hebrew Israelites that needs to be judged. They need to mingle among the, okay, the wicked two-thirds of the year to get judged here in Great Babylon, America. But that cup, which is that cup of indignation that the Lord has, Esau the Edomite, the so-called white man, because he despises this doggone sword. I take a look at your damn demons right here. These doggone motherfuckers right here, okay? See, the people they drive by in their car, okay? They ain't get the balls, okay? To stand up. See, see these still going to eat them. I see they wait for you damn Jakes to go, go march and, and fight for your rights to eat and have jobs and all that stuff like that. Hey, Jake, it's not going to happen, okay? Get your hands away from these still going to eat them. Do not help them. Do not stand with them. Okay? Do not feel sorry for them, okay? He saw already right in the Genesis 27 and 41. And they're coming after you. They're coming after you, okay? Let's continue on here. It says. The punishment of thy iniquities accomplish your daughter of Zion, he will no more carry you away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins. The Lord is discovering the sins of this dog on wicked place. You get sodomy on a high level right here. Okay, you get a dog on a whole month dedicated to the damn wicked dog on sodomite agenda. Okay, you got you got a, a video came out the other day showing uh what's her name? That seven foot tall sissy 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 motherfucker, uh, uh what's his name? Um LeBron James. He's twerking while he's still going doing squats with his shirt off and some dude right behind his butt. Okay, hold on to his butt, tell me he's squatting him. He ain't squatting him, man. So you Jake, so you Jake's are such so have uh, such a low self-esteem to the fact that you don't realize that you got the damn talent. This man needs you. Okay? He can't do shit. He can't make his billions or trillions of dollars. Or even dog on graph the world with bullshit wickedness from hip-hop. Whatever other doggone form of entertainment or media that he breaks out, utilizing your skills, okay, to distract the world while he gets his plan in order. I see that's why the Lord don't the Lord didn't pick guys that dug on LeBron James to come up behind the guys. He picked guys like us, the ones that the people despise the most, the ones that the people hate. See, guys like us, see, we don't like Great Babylon in America. We don't like the dog on so-called white man. We don't like the damn wicked. Tell you who we are, okay? We're Yasharala, praise the Lord. We stand up boldly for righteousness. And that's why we can stand up right here on this whole road, okay, and talk. You see, people ain't got no damn nutsack, man. You men don't have no damn nutsack. 
you love, but you love bowing down for jump change, and you love bowing down for crumbs. But just to make sure Esau, the my so-called white man, know, you're finna pay. You are going to pay. You people are going to pay right now. You're starting to pay right now. You know, TikTok videos. I can't make it. Who gives a damn shit? Gird your damn loins up. Okay? What I, what I, what I like to tell you in the world, strap, you know, strap, you know, zip up your, your, your trousers and strap your bootstrap up and broaden up your shoulder walk and, you know, face it like a, face it like a, like a, like a warrior. Well, that's what the sin we tell y'all too. Face it like a warrior. Except, guess what? Y'all ain't warriors. Okay? Great death is coming to America. Great death is coming to America. I repeat, great death is coming to America. All you damn doggone tackle eating fucking motherfuckers, Latinos out here, you're gonna fucking die. We come out here and warn you every damn week. You damn pork chop eating niggas, you're gonna die. The Lord is gonna put your ass to doggone death. And whatever you damn doggone Native Americans, so called Native Americans like the evil, but this desert lizard, whatever the case like that, the Lord is gonna put your ass to damn going death. Okay? You can put your ass to death. Let's go into the book of Revelation. This is the book of Revelation 18. Let's talk about, let's talk about uh, what the Lord has given, one, given, given us warning to. Okay? Revelation 18, Psalm verse 4. And it reads, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of all my people. That he be not partakers of a sin that you receive in order for plagues. And you know what? That's going to be a beautiful time when the Lord takes out his righteous. Lord willing, the man that you see out here on the highway in the byway, sign of crime, dealing with, dealing with all of the adversity in life, dealing with all the hell that comes your way. Okay? It's going to be part of those people that, that the Lord is going to take out of the way while he bring that judgment onto this dog on things. And you people don't want to deserve every bit. Deserve every bit of the hell that the Lord is going to bring on this dog on wicked place. Yes, it tells you damn people. At some point in time, you people will be freaking killing each other, okay? For chicken bone. For chicken bone, you're gonna be killing each other. You pacified, doggone soft, big belly man. What are you gonna do when they kick your door down, okay? Grab your little daughter and your little son. Hey, Manak, the other brother, Manaki Sai, brought a great video when he talked about, uh, you know, the betrayal thing. Then he went on, he went on, on, on to talk about the fact that people are underestimating the horror that we're going to be going through with Jacob's trouble. Those FEMA camps are not going to be like your typical jail cell which you have right now, where you have three meals a day playing checkers and dominoes and all kinds of crap like that. You know, when the bodies are piled up on the street, who's going to be picking those bodies up? Who the hell is, is, is going to have the balls? Go to pick up the damn bodies. You people really believe that some way, somehow, you're gonna sit on your leaves and somebody's gonna come and just help you because, well, you pay your damn taxes. Every car that's driving by right now have their windows screwed up with their air conditioning blasting. You people can't even take the fuck air. You've been living here all your life, you can't even take the, the air, the natural air. You gotta be in that much comfort. What happens when all that comfort goes away, people? When you are killing each other for bread, if the Lord is gonna bring that judgment on you wicked people, man. Soft men. He says, for sins have reached unto heaven and God, power, I remember her iniquity. The Lord, Yahweh, has not forgotten the wicked. Not forgotten the wickedness of these doggone kites on this doggone sign right here. Has not forgotten the wickedness of our people, which includes us in this ministry. And this is the reason why we're fighting to have our sins pardoned by the Lord Yahweh Shimeon Shai. See, you people don't even understand what you're into. You don't actually understand the God of the Bible is not some doggone frosted flake, cookie cutter, Santa Claus, or some old, old, old dusty old doggone. Uh, so-called white man, okay, who smiles at everybody and he understands and he, you know, he's, he, he understands that you're in that situation. He doesn't care. 
He doesn't have to. All right? He, hey, give, give an example of exactly what the, how, this, how this man treated you. Do you need to me to bring out the signs? Hey, we bring out over and over and over. Okay? If you are not listening to the man in all the hundreds of videos just this weekend alone, you had about 200 camps. How do I know this? Because I download all, I download the videos, I share the videos on another platform. So I know brothers out there are going out there on the highway, the highway, the highway. Okay. Look at this guy smoking us, get a dick in his fucking mouth right there. Look at a cigarette in his whole wig. Freaking look like a dog on pot cake, a, a pug, dog, but he's got a damn, a, 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 a freaking dog on cigarette in his damn mouth. Can't put him to walk across the nation. This is what this, this is what this world has got you damn for. Look at him. But then these are the same people when all hell breaks loose, when they can't walk their fucking their fat asses, you know, they can't climb a flight of stairs or climb a wall to escape the robot dogs or the robot or the terminators or these Edomites. They could be looking at you. Who've eaten who? Who tried to eat healthy in this in this abominable place? They could be looking at you. Who exercise? Who try to keep your body right and your mind right? To go pick their 300 or 500 pounds of blub of fat ass. That's not gonna be the case. You people are going to be on your damn own, man. Hey, the Lord has got some serious, serious judgment for this place. Okay? You, 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 you people don't have food, man. Okay? The famine. Do people do in, 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 uh, intermittent fasting? In fact, intermittent fasting right now is a big, is a big buzz now in the uh, uh, health and wellness world. I wonder why. I wonder why the spirit is sending people right now to talk about intermittent fasting. It's because what they're telling you is this, is you're going to have to do on fast. Involuntary fasting. Starvation. Okay? And if you believe that somebody's going to share their food with you, you better, you best get something else coming to you. If you believe you're going to just walk with a big sandwich in your hand, and people are just going to stand there and stare at you and go, hey, where did you get that? And not come and take that from me. You got something else coming from you. See, because most of you people, you will avoid confrontation. You will avoid conflict. You will avoid, okay, standing up for anything. You don't. Even when it doesn't involve conflict. Let's go into the book of Second Ezra. I can't wait to bring this out. We always, we've been right now because this is a time of prophecy. You have right now the MOTV, okay? Which is the mark of the beast. We bring it out to all the time right here. This is what you will be facing. You are going to be facing this, okay? This is an amount of just, you just taking this. Before this is implemented, you have to survive actually to take the mark of the beast. You, have to actually, you actually have to survive to that point. The, those who survive might be able to have the opportunity. Okay? If the Lord is not with you, the way you will fall the temptation to take this, this is coming on the whole world. But first of all, you actually have to survive to get there. Because this is going to be implemented, okay, after all of the horror that the Lord brings on this earth. It ain't going to be party as usual. It ain't going to be beer guzzling, drinking, taco eating, they're going to up eating as usual, sandwich eating as usual. You men going to learn to gird your doggone loins up. What happens when your doggone managed bitch tell you to go out there to go get some food? Okay? Jacob, they walk by. Yeah, so they try to turn your head as if, you know, by turning your head, that means that this, you don't have to hear it. It doesn't matter. This is only going to be heard by those that the Lord chooses this message. This is 2nd Edges 15. It started with verse 8. Let's go into it. The Lord says, I will hold my tongue no more touching their wickedness, which they will fairly commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous who have blood cried unto me, the soul of the just to take these things. The other righteous blood, the other soul that continues to complain. Oh, this is complaining. Oh, this is complaining. 
The Lord is not holding his tongue against the wickedness in this place, man. This is why you see we're out here. You have the bishops out there. You have the elders out there. You have the brothers out there. Okay? All bringing out and exposing the wickedness. Okay? Of Esau. He said, therefore, said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the peace of love from among them. So we know that Mashiach is going to return. And he's going to do what? He's going to bring vengeance. Okay? On those that do on those that have destroyed his people. Those that laid hands on us, man. Okay, so I'm talking with you, Sam, with you damn Edomites, man. But it's gonna be for the rest of you damn nations too. Y'all all y'all y'all all the same too. None of you are incident. Dubai will fall, Shanghai will fall, Beijing will fall, Tokyo will fall. Okay? On and on. You all will fall. All your big cities that you marvel at, you know, that you poke, turn your damn lips. You slant the eyes at us and go, where's, where's your stuff? See, see, we don't, we are not in a position where we can say black people, you know, as, as they refer to us, black people build this. This is a black city. Proving, because if you look at, if you go to Lagos, Lagos, I think it's Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria looks just like New York. Most, most uh, Uganda and all those other countries over there, predominantly so-called blacks, their, their cities look just like New York. They get, their infrastructure is pretty advanced. Yet so, that's not attributed to us, showing that we are not. Okay, us, the so biblical Hebrew Israelites, and the Hamites or those other, uh, uh, those, those, those other black, so-called blacks out there, are not the same. We're not the same. If that was the case, then they would contribute. Their success or their 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 in their, their engineering marvel or whatever they're doing over there to us but it's not we are individually looked upon as just being inferior to everybody else on this earth okay well let's continue on here it says for all my people is that as they flock to the slaughter i will not suffer them to dwell in the land of egypt but i will bring them with a mighty hand and they stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy the land thereof. The Lord is going to bring the plague on this people on this on this place. Which this place is known as spiritual Sodom in Egypt. So what were those plagues that was brought on Egypt before? Okay, you have pestilence, you have the flies, okay, you have the killing of the camels, you have darkness, which this place is spiritual darkness. But it's actually going to be an actual physical darkness where, you, where the electricity is going to go off. Okay? Which is going to lead to civil unrest because we know what predators like to come out at night. And imagine the first day, nobody's going to do anything. Oh, okay. Second day, maybe nothing. Third day, huh? Fourth day, it's clear and obvious that things are not coming back to normal. And here, we warn you, women, man, and you doggone men. Because a lot of you men, okay, you walk by with your little saggy ass and stuff like that. You, 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 you your shape and built more of like a damn woman than a doggone man. Hey, a lot of these dogs gonna start my these of my dogs. They can be grabbing your ass too. Okay? What else? Famine is gonna come here. The sword is gonna come here. Oh yeah, the sword. Famine, famine. Those two things are what really is gonna come here. Right now you're talking about the damn fox, okay? Now they already had the code, the, 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 the C19, okay? Uh simulation in which they showed, you know. Hospitals are woeful, you know, they're making up these numbers of thousands of dead and, you know, the exhaustion of uh, the emergency help. Well, that's exactly how it's going to be. <laughs> Bill and Linda Gay said, the next lockdown is going to be taken serious. There is another lockdown coming. Do you people actually prepare, uh, are you people preparing for that mentally? Okay. Are you preparing physically for it? Are you preparing... Uh, this, when you think about this lockdown, and I actually would like to do a lesson, we'll go a little more further on this because the last lockdown that occurred, there was uh, there was a lot of um, what do you call it? There was uh, a lot of businesses went out. There was a lot of a lot of organizations went under. A lot of businesses, mom, mom, power businesses were impacted by that lockdown. You had a lot of jobs that released a lot of people. You had a lot of, uh, what do you call it? You had a lot of um, uh, distribution channels corrupted, logistics corrupted, okay? And that was just a slight lockdown in most places. In fact, other places didn't even have a lockdown at all, okay? Mostly your blue states kind of had the lockdown. 
This time, what you are going to have is actual true death that's going to actually take place. You're going to have actual true death. You're going to actually have thousands and thousands, if not millions, of you people are going to die in the streets of America. Millions of you are going to die. Okay? Millions of you are going to die. And that next lockdown is going to be the destruction, okay, and the death of the economic infrastructure that's here in Great Babylon. to a nightmare daily, a daily nightmare. Let's continue on here. And it says, Egypt shall moon, and the foundations of it shall be spitten with the plague and the punishment that God should bring upon it. God is going to bring that judgment and that punishment of plagues and sword and famine. Yeah, on Great Babylon, America. You damn fat people are gonna freaking they're gonna know what it's like to not have food to eat for about four or five days. Okay? Y'all can't even put down the dog on spoon or the knife for a second. You sad, you eat. You, you're, you're happy, you eat. You celebrate something, you eat. The sun's shining, you eat. Gluttonous dog on Babylonians, gluttonous Americans are gonna find out when the Lord brings that judgment of famine. Okay? He's not playing with you. Also, your stomach is touching your, 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 your spineless back. And I'm talking to you, dog on men. But you're spineless. You're not even the head of your household. Right around your metal coffin. Because that is going to be your death. That's, gonna, that's exactly where you're going to die. You're on metal coffin. They that till the ground shall moon. For the seas shall fall through the blasting and the hail, and with a fearful consolation. So you're gonna to work to death for no reason. You people are gonna work just to eat. Most of you can't even don't gonna make ends meet right now. But you're proud. You can't make ends meet. You're proud. You're the people that's been persecuted on this in, in, in this place. But you walk around proud towards your brothers and your sisters, which are a different hue than you. that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw it down and one people shall stand up and fight against another swords in their hands be prepared for your neighbor to invade your house to take your food be prepared for your family members to come over and point a gun in your face and take away your food be prepared for the division in your household as you turn against each other. Because there's no loyalty to anybody here in Great Babylon, America. Because by nature, people are just wicked. The, Lord, the spirit of the Lord is not in you. They have brotherly love or sisterly love, or motherly love or fatherly love. It's a corrupt nation of evildoers. When you're murdering each other for a slice of bread, you women are going to be rubbish. And it's not for your pleasure either. And you men are not going to do a damn thing. You're going to sit there like a coward you are and do not a damn thing as your house is broken in two in broad daylight and they ravish your children and your women. And you will sit your punk ass down and you will do not a damn thing. Because this nation is built up, it has a lot of sissies in it right now. 2024, and you men are having your damn woman walk all over you. Your woman shows no reference, wouldn't even cook a boiled water for you. you. Damn worthless women, the Lord is gonna deal with you. You see, you all know exactly what type of man that y'all can be with. The little kittens, the little pussies, not the, not the real lions. Yashrod, you so-called blacks, Native Americans, Latinos, you are the biblical Hebrews, right? And the Lord will start with that judgment with your ass. You're gonna get judged first. You men better start girding your loins up. 
quit being weak. See that? Lack of respect right there, these women. You know, they look at you, get the window screwed up, giving you that evil eye. Let's see that passion. Let's see that doggone. Let's see that balls you women have. Okay? When there's no electrical power, no food, bread is down, no water's running, you can't wash your, wash your ass anymore. And all these predators are around. Okay? Ravishing you. Let's see, let's see what you let's see, let's see, let's see if Jeff succeed. Let's see how, let's see your testosterone water at that point. Let's see it. You'll be looking at a man like, like me, expecting us to, 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 to turn around and save you. Because a weak man that you marry can't save you. We're not gonna save you. The Lord already, the Lord, you see in the Revelation uh, 18, Psalm verse 4, the Lord said, hey, get out of all, man. Don't be a part of this place and the sins and the wickedness and the judgment that he's going to bring on this place. So we're not going to be a part of that. We're not going to be part of the rescue team, okay? That's what you pay your taxes for. Go and have them rescue you. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah 19. Book of Isaiah 19, Psalm verse 1. Because, see, again, seeing is believing. You're not going to believe it until it actually happens. It says, The burden of Egypt, behold the Lord, your how about Shemesh Iron Rider, upon the swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall move out of his presence, and the heart of the Egypt shall melt in this earth. So the Lord, when he rides into Egypt with the plagues and the judgments that he's going to be bringing on this wicked ass people, okay, the people are going to melt, okay? They're going to melt because you know, you've not seen anything like it before. See, this isn't going to be just another economic downturn, you know, things are going bad for you. No, 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 no. This is very for a specific place, okay? And that's why spiritual Egypt is mentioned so much in the Bible. Who's spiritual Egypt? America. The United States of America is spiritual Egypt, okay? This is the one place where you will work to death. Now I'm actually going to damn little show for it. That's right, you see a lot of these damn work for so long. You still got a double on walk that you pay. And what do they do? They, they take out the equity just to go try to pay the mortgage. So you constantly, it's like quicksand. America is like quicksand, okay? You take one, you, you try, you take, uh, the more you struggle, the deeper you go. But you people have your heart set in Egypt. It says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Okay, on a global scale, you have Russia going against America, and you have Europe that's going to abandon America at some point, you know, and uh, it's going to be war. But on top of that, too, when you go domestically, you're going to have these states, red, blue states, whatever state it is. Okay, um, even right now in the near future, you have these uh, preppers and all these, uh, you know, people that are looking at what's going on, that they can see. Depends who wins the race in November. You can see civil war or you can see civil unrest breaking out. Now, unlike the Jake's them, where they march and, you know, things were staged in 2020 with that BLM, or the Black Lives Matter BS, okay? This is going to be the real deal. These guys are not coming out to throw bottles, rock bottles, a Molotov cocktail, you know, and break smash glass windows and stuff like that. No, they're coming out with doggone M4s, M16s. Brothers and all the all the works, and they go in war. Because if Kamala wins, there's going to be there's going to be a fight. And if Trump wins, there's going to be a fight. It doesn't matter. And guess who's going to be in the middle of this going on? Catastrophe. Allow me this going on. Guess it. The so-called Latinos, the so-called blacks, the so-called Native Americans. In particular, the eyes of 27 damn Latinos now. You Latinos. Are Y'all don't look at the dog on news and realize when they talk about the border crossing, okay, the parasites that's coming across our border, committing crimes and breaking and doing burglary, and they're talking about you. Nobody can nobody gives a crap about Hector from Venezuela or Hector from El Paso. You all look alike. According to these Edomites. You all look alike. It doesn't matter if you have a big house, you you own a business or whatever the case is like that. Nobody cares. Okay? As far as they're concerned, you got that business because the government gave you money when you crossed that damn border. 
They don't know the fact that you put your time in and, your, and the money in and borrow money from the bank and you make mortgage payments and all the other stuff. They don't look at it like that. This is how your enemies look at you. Your enemies not looking at you as a producing or as a productive citizen. They're looking at you as a dog on, dog on, freeloading piece of crap, okay? Getting everything handed to them while they struggle and they suffer. That's how they're looking at you. And that's why the dog on, the, the, that's why the enemies want to be extremely angry at your ass, okay? But first of all, they're going to screw each other over first. And it says, And the spirit of Egypt shall fall in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the trunks of thereof. And they shall see to the idols and to the charmers and to them that the familiar spirit of Israel. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's already been written exactly how this is going to go down. So your charmers or your 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 your, your, your fortune tellers or your people who who think who, who, well, you know what? We're just going through rough times right now. It's not going to be no damn great depression. It's no great depression that's coming. This is the end, okay, of a wicked empire that's coming. You people time of continue. You see, y'all y'all think it's just that you're continuing rotation over and over and over. You know, you be wicked, okay, and then this decade is bad, okay, next decade will be better. You know, we'll, we'll rebuild. No, 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 no. That is the spirit of Esau. He did say that he would rebuild. And he did rebuild. But what did the Lord say? You will rebuild, but I will break down. And he'll be known as what? The Lord of wickedness. And he has an indignation forever with your ass. It's meaning what? You will never accomplish your goals, you saw. You're not going to accomplish your goals. Okay? You will never accomplish your goals. Okay? Let's take a look. Let's go into the book of Zechariah. Again, as always, we like to bring it out because the warning is really for the, for the, for the, for the meek. And believe it or not, as bad as you might think you are, Jake, you're still meek. Okay, we're sheep. In reality, okay, we're sheep. This is Zechariah 13, Psalm 8. But let's talk about how the Lord is going to deliver us. So there's the delivered, and then there's those who are not going to be delivered. Of Zechariah 13, Psalm 8, it reads, And it shall come to pass that in the land of the Lord, the Abba Shinah Shah, two parts, 66%. 66%. Biblical Hebrews, which is your so called Native Americans, blacks, and Latinos. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. When you get cut off, it means that you're not going to be assisted or help. The Lord is not going to give you the possibility you, and I'm going to start off with the men all the way down to their kids. The Lord is not going to make a way for you to survive here. Okay? You men are going to have to go out there and go, go try to forage for food, and you will lose your life. Next, your dog on fat woman, your fat wife will go and go try to forage. She will get raped and then she'll be put to death. And your kids, okay, will be will, will be will be sold, okay, little boys being sold, little girls being sold, and then they're gonna get put to damn death. So the Lord is gonna be destroying entire households. And I will bring the third part to the fire, and we'll find them as silver as the fine. And we'll try them as gold as fire, and they should call on my name. And I will hear them and I will say, it is my people. And they should say, the Lord, Yahweh, Shemashah, is my power. First of all, you need to know the name of the Lord. There it is. You have a man with ponytails in their head. You have a ponytail in your head like, like driving a Corvette. Okay. Like a woman. Okay. That's okay. So two-thirds will be cut off. Two-thirds will be cut off. They all don't even know the name. What's the name of the Lord? Yahweh. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai Bahashim Akakadash. Okay? You have the Almighty, He exists, self existence. Okay? In the name of Yahweh, the, the Savior, the Redeemer. Okay? Yahweh Shai. Let's go to the book of Psalms. In the book of Psalms 10, Psalm 7 it reads, his mouth is full of cursing, deceit, and fraud. All that's shown is mentioned for vanity. They're going to come and there at some point in time is going to tell you that taking that, that mark is a good thing. Which is the you might go trip. The 
The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. They're going to tell you it's a good thing. They can tell you building robots to help you with your life. So why the hell are they strapping guns and laser beams on them? Why they put tracking system on them? Why does the jump won't have tracking system? Why? They're sitting in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places bloody murder of the innocent, his eyes are set apparently against the wall. He's our eyes set against the wall, which is us, the actual model. Okay, like I brought up earlier, Genesis 27, 41, he saw, he said he's going to make that move against us at some point in time. So he saw our eyes really is set against us, really not really even these other nations, okay, but really against us, because we're the poor, we're the desolate, we're the, we're the desolate ones, we're, we're poor in this society, in this world. But I know some of you would say, well, I got a nice house and a 2,500 square foot house, I don't, I'm not poor. Pay taxes, you get a guy from take your ass to work, you get to stand up in line for everything. Hmm? You gotta wait till someone service you? Really? See, you don't understand what poor is. See, in reality, if you are rich, we're rich in spirit. Okay, we're rich in righteousness. Uh, concerns in society. Uh, Actually, they had a job report that came out and found out that they skewed the numbers. There was more like a million uh, new claims for unemployment. Not, not 300,000, a million. So they're skewing the numbers. See, because they're, they're not going to have the camera or the drone camera flying overhead and showing people in destitution. In destitution. The majority of people drive around in that car right now on this road are incapable of paying their debt or incapable of paying their bills. Okay? Some of them are riding around right now because there's something else that people are riding around and they're trying to figure out what, 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 what's their next Okay? Yeah, y'all ain't fooling nobody. Most of, most of you, most of you right now are riding a vehicle that's going to give you possessed. You can barely make car payment. You can barely repair your car. But you're proud. You don't understand who the enemy is. You don't understand that the Lord has set up the so-called white man, okay, to continuously keep you submitted to his ways. And the only way out of that is if, if the Lord chose you to come out of it. And also you have to choose you at the end cut, the final cut, because hey, all of us right now, we're all interviewing, okay, from the elder prophet all the way down, this is hey, the this reason why, you know, we're encouraged to do at least three lessons a week, and a camp, you do more than three lessons, but hey, minimum, we're interviewing, man, what is your contribution to this ministry, what is your contribution to the Lord's ministry? This is an interview process. Everybody coming out here, we got our interview. If you just sign up and just uh, uh, up the breeze, come, come out, daydreaming on the damn phone while uh, while brothers are working, what, what, what kind of reward do you expect to get? He says, he's sitting in the lurking place of the villages, in the secret places where he murder the innocent. His eyes are privy set against the poor. He lied in wait, secretly as a lion in his den. He lied in wait to catch the poor. If he don't catch the poor, when you draw them in this net. When you want to follow the ways of Great Babylon in America, you will be caught. You will be caught. He has said in his heart, God has forgotten. He has hidden his face to you without sin. The Lord actually has not forgotten. Actually, he has seen, he sees everything. He sees everything. He knows everything. He sees what you're doing, he saw, what you're doing. He sees what Jake is doing, he sees what we're doing. Okay? He knows the heart of every man. He sees what you're doing, Esau. He knows your next move to buy, because he gave it to you. He knows what you're going to do next. Why? Because it's already been written. The Lord put it in your hand to do it. You're doing the will of the, Lord, the Most High. Yah, Bashi, Yashai. We're all doing the will of the Most High, whether it's good or bad. All right? 
You people driving your metal coffin pass, not inquiring about the mark of the beast, not inquiring about what you were tribe you're from, not inquiring about the danger that you're in, not inquiring about the fact that the serpent, the devil, the sword, the so-called white man, is laying a trap for you, do people, not inquiring about the fact, okay, that right now, okay, you so-called Latinos are being blamed for everything that's going wrong in this country right now, and these people are going to come up against you and put, your, put you to death, but you men don't want to stand up for your damn household. You don't see the danger that you're in. Hey, El Paso is not safe, okay? In fact, this place is 85% Latinos. If they're blaming the Latinos for all the problems in America coming across that border, which has nothing to do with any of you here. All these moron and dug on, saber tooth dug on, hillbilly dug on, even my, all they're gonna think about is about this is Hector's fault. Hey, you all look alike. So what the hell do you think is gonna happen? All these little hick towns surrounding this whole place. They put it in that dog on movie. Um, what was it? I can't remember that movie. I know that Paso was the actual, the, 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 the final, where the final battle took place. Uh, I can't remember the name of that movie. You know, but they had that one day where they go and they kill. Shit, I can't remember the name of it. Um, but, you know what? Hey, that's why we do lessons. You know, so if you can't remember, so sometimes you know, <laughs> your mind go blank. You do a lesson. You know, it comes back to you, you do that lesson to bring it on, you know. And you can see that, you know, where some brothers will turn around and take clips of a, a, a video, if they had an encounter, and make uh, an expand on it. Because everything is a learning point. Everything is a learning point. The goal here is always to constantly keep the sheep fed and edified. But I can't remember, I can't remember, the, I can't remember the name of that movie. But you can see the lies that's coming from this man's mouth about the promises of, you know, rebuilding, giving jobs, making things better, making America great again. Trump is not going to make America great again. But that's the reason why you're going to go against each other, because you're going to disregard your government. Because up to this point right now, everyone has been played. And it didn't matter who was really power where the Edomites, okay, your so-called low-level, your so-called white people, okay, your low-level of Gabon, Susan and Bobby and them, but they could have a job and they could go on vacation, buy their little house and have the little picket fence and the dog and shit. It didn't really matter. But see, now it does. All of a sudden now it does. All of a sudden now there's this unity thing. All of a sudden now it does matter now, okay? And this is singularly, singularly the most important thing election of America because the choice is this. Even on the left, red evil. Which devil do you want to rule over you? It doesn't matter. Because the way this is going to take place is the Lord is going to actually have the devil put you people in a bind that you are going to turn to extreme violence. You people are going to turn violent towards each other. You people are going to turn violent towards each other. I hope you men know how to fight. You don't want Boucher, you Boucher two-third uh, Latino men out there. And I'm talking to y'all because y'all y'all are the ones out there. Proud. Y'all better learn to fight. Because your, your unfriendly neighborhood Edomite is going to come and kick your door down and take your crap from you. Okay? That's what's going to happen. Oh, buggies. Let's go to Book of Ecclesiastes because... 12, it's down verse 10. Why do you always bring this up? You always bring them up. You know, never trust our enemy. Uh, Buggies, man. I'm going to have to use some spray. Please ask me 12, it's down verse 10. It says, never trust our enemy for us. I am Russian, so is his wickedness. Hey, Esau is not going to change, man. This man is a damn devil. The devil doesn't change. Purpose is to kill you. Make your life miserable. He's doing it through chemicals in the air, chemicals in the water, chemicals in the food. Okay. Chemicals in the clothes.
of your best interest. Your enemy is gonna kill you. I mean, a man must kill his own people. Come on, Jake. Come on, niggas. This man can hang you from a dog on tree, cut your tongue on your hair, cut your dick off, and jump, jump down your mouth. Okay, sever your nutsack and jump down your damn mouth. Tie you up against a tree. Hey, I got the picture right here. It's well documented on what they used to do to us. Okay? If he can do that to you, how much more do you think your life is worth to him? To put poison in the water, poison in the food, poison in the air. Come on, man. Seriously? Okay, it says, though he humble himself, talks nice and sweet to you. Hey, man, you can trust me. You get the suit and the necktie. See, the few people you judge, you judge, you judge by double and outside appearance. You judge by outside appearance because you're knuckleheads. You men are soft. Okay? You're soft. Hey, hey, guess what? Your old lady, the old women, you old women, y'all ain't exempt from getting, 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 uh, getting ravaged either. You old women, a lot of y'all gonna get raped. Okay? A lot of you wicked ass old women, man. Because a lot of y'all are wicked. Okay? So you can ride with your mom in that car right here. Your mom, your mom is gonna be subject to that judgment too. Esau don't care. The Lord doesn't have respect to a person. He doesn't give a crap. He says, Though he humble himself and go approach him, and yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him like as if thou was right to look at thy ass. Thou shalt know that it's worse than all the Hey, don't mind our sweet stuff. Shit. Mala Harris is full of crap. Trump is full of crap. Okay? Doesn't matter who goes in office, they're full of shit. They can't save you, they can't even save themselves. They will go down in those bunkers only to be grabbed out pursuing Jeremiah 16 and 16, okay, where the righteous will come out, okay, the sun fishing will come down to those heavenly body and will grab their asses out of those heavenly on poles and throw their asses in the They can't save you. Kamala Harris can't save you. Trump can't save you. Fuck off, man. I hate these damn bugs, okay? Set him up beside thee. When he has overthrown thee, you stand up in thy place, you know, let him sit at thy right hand. Let him seek to take thy seat, and thou the last remember my words, and be pricked therein. And who will pity a charmer that is bitten by a serpent, or is any of such come wild to a night beast? Hey, if you like to play with danger, danger is this. Danger is what you're going to get, Jake. You like to play with danger, danger is what you are going to get. That's right. We, hey, we warned you, man. Hey, you know why they don't like us? We can't be compromised. Because we don't care. Okay? You can't offer what you don't have in Israel. And what you don't have is life. You can't offer what you don't have in Israel. You can't offer life. That's what we want. We want everlasting life. Can you offer that? That's the only, that's the only bargain chip you got. That's the only bargain chip you need to have. You can't offer that. See, the Lord has offered us something better. Life. The Lord has offered us life. All you have is death, Esau. Death. So you can't offer it to the righteous. Okay? You can't. So you don't have anything to bother with. So if we always come on here, holy, tell you, okay, you can go and have your damn self. Okay? Let's go to Isaiah 31. Psalm verse 1. Because you know, what is going to and you know, you know what's gonna happen and how something's gonna take. Uh, okay, and that could be anyone. That could be the brother putting on the video. Okay, it might be the one that's gonna take them out. You might be looking at your own, you might, be, you might have been dreaming at your own self. None of us know who actually is under that covering. None of us know who's under that protection or who's gonna be, you know, stay away from there. But we understand how, we understand and we know the characteristic of the men, the women, and the children that the Lord is going to say, which is part of that one third. So that being saying like that, we are almost, we are kind of confident, or we have some assurance in our head, or we, we hope it's us. Let's just put it that way, okay? But yes, there's going to be some loss. Some of us are not going to make it or get that final cut. We don't know, you know. That's how it is. Isaiah 31 and 1, the side says, says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, and stay on horses and trust, and cherish, because there are many, 
and the parts were because they were very strong, but they looked down at the holy one of Israel, you didn't see the Lord down by Shimon Why would you? How many cars drove by today? Thousands. Hundreds so far. Oh. This one of the busiest roads out here next to the town. Next to the I-10. Okay. So, I chose this road. Come out. Bring on this car. It's a parking space behind me. It can fit about 35, 40, 40 cars. This car's a car to the back of me. Not one of them can walk. They can step. If I go, they come to me and ask, what's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? What are you doing? They don't care. Because they, they trust in Egypt. They trust in America. See, this is not going to matter. Okay, like what was the other, the other bishop that came and they said, you know, we're not going to be out here for your amusement forever. We're not going to be out here to, to scream at the top of our lungs and cuss and be angry, okay, and read from the scriptures and try to tell you and try to try, try to explain to you the best of our ability what the Lord is bringing to this place. We're not going to be out here forever, okay? There's going to come a time when it all goes down. You're going to wonder, what is it that that little nigga is saying out there, standing up in the red, in the red sock cloth? You're going to wonder, what is it that little nigga standing out there under the tree is saying? What was he trying to say to us? And you will seek to come and look out here for me. And guess what? I will not be found. There is a famine of the word that's going to come down. Those platforms are going to come on, turn around and say, you know what? We need to take your video down because if we don't, they're going to, they're going to freaking dug on find us. Akiyam will come down. We're not going to be putting up videos, okay, and risking our lives when the family of the word come down, okay? The Lord will then see the elect, and you people will go down, and you, you people will go down to perdition. You will get your damn judgment. Because when you had the opportunity to come out and listen to the words of the prophets out here, you did not. Because you're proud, because you want to go down to Egypt. But Egypt promise you, you know, a job. Egypt promise you a good life. Are you living a good life? You are not living a good life, okay? Let's go into, it goes. Also is wise and will bring evil and will not call by his words and will arise against the house of the evil doers and against the help of them that work iniquity. So if you're assisting the wicked, okay, in all the wicked things and deeds here, great Babylon America, guess what? You're gonna go down just like the wicked. You're gonna get the judgment just like the wicked. You will be punished. See, you people don't understand who you really are. Okay? And we just we saw it just now right there. Okay? You got you got you get a you get a you get a, a, a female uh uh I'm, I'm thinking she's just got Okay, just walk right by, head down, don't even say good morning, don't say good afternoon. Okay? But the car step by and hit her ass or, or, or coyotes or a couple of coyotes run across the street and rob her, she'd expect a man like me to go save her. Now I'm worth something. You see, that's how it works out here. And I will just turn the camera on your ass and just uh, I, I film you on what you get eating and make, make tons and tons of lessons on the judgment of the Lord that the Lord does for me. All right? I'm just being frank with you. I don't care who mother it is. I don't give flying crap who it is. I will turn that camera and just film it. Okay? Because you see, damn women don't have no damn respect. None. It's okay. We're not going to ask you for respect. You can be wanting to give that respect, but it can be you and, and, and thousands of others that will want to, that will want to give that respect. Okay, you can have to you have to compete in those days. And an old pro like that, the Lord ain't gonna save your ass. The Lord ain't gonna, the Lord is not going to do his man dirty, giving him poor wicked ass women. Okay, it, it's just not going to work that way. He's not going to do his man dirty like that. Going out from the chair, whereupon he was in the threshold of the house, and he, sent, and he called to the man clothed in the linen, which had the writing sleep on by his side. Because this is how the Lord deals. The Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry 
all the abomination they have done in this era. Okay, here it is. We always have a sign, and you can see this sign what I have right here. With a big mushroom crowd, all the great Babylon America. And what does it have? The biggest thing that you feature you can see on that is a rainbow pride sign. Okay, sodomite, the sodomite, when the sodomite is taking that, which the Lord used, okay, as an instrument of his promise of not to flood the spirit again. And they've taken it and used it, okay, as a symbol of wickedness. Sodomy. Sodomy. Okay? So where is it? Rainbow used to symbolize the promise of Yahweh Shemar Shai that he will not destroy this place with, with water again over the deluge. They've taken it and created an abomination out of it. So now if you walk with the, with, with the rainbow color, people are going to assume you are doggone some sodomite. Or you are down with the sodomite agenda. Not that you are giving glory and honor to Yahweh Shemar Shai for not destroying the earth with water. Okay? So they've made everything bad. Everything has fallen this bad has turned into bad. It's vilified everything. And you people are down with it. You're comfortable with it. You don't care. You don't care that this man disrespect your power. You don't care of the unrighteous people that this man brings out. You don't care. You people don't care at all. You're comfortable in your dug on. Better coffee, you're comfortable in your dug on that sleep. You're comfortable scraping by. You're comfortable being fat. You men are comfortable with your women walking all over you. And being soft. You're comfortable being spineless. Useless eaters. Put your head up your ass because you are not even understanding the that you're in. But right now there's a cross here on all each and every one of you that go on Latinos here in El Paso. There's a cross here on every one of you Latinos here in El Paso. But you're comfortable. You don't care. You don't you men don't get up and stand up and look out and be watchmen for your house. Okay? You're not the lion of your house. Your woman is a damn lion. You're comfortable being weak. You women are comfortable being out of order. And you men are comfortable letting your woman be out of order. You know why you don't want to come up here? You know why none of you men have the nuts out to come up here? It's because you know this is order. Court is in session. The devil is on trial. You don't want no part of this, you see? This is not meant to be going on those double kittens on here, man. And to the others, he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite, and let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay, utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. See that? Notice how the Lord sat off with the men. Yeah. See, so you see, once you take all you dog on, once you take all you dog on spineless man out of the way, women are In fact, the women don't even have a covering under this man. These men are not going to protect you. You know why? The Lord is not going to. The Lord is not working with them. And the spirit is not in them. They don't even know what time it is or what's going on. But the Lord is going to send His angel of death here in El Paso and put you people to death. Okay? The angel of death is coming to El Paso and He's going to put you people to death. You're going to starve. You're going to rob each other's house. You're going to kill each other for food. These other hillbillies or these other towns are going to come here. They're going to, they're going to kill you because they blame your brothers and sisters coming across the border for the economy going down, for all the crimes that are coming up. You 
dug on Latinos have no clue what's up, what's, what's, what's coming for you. Either dug on you dug on Negroes, nor you dug on Native Americans. Then the great judgment coming for you. But most of you can't even drive in your car with your windows screwed down. You're so soft, you can have air conditioning on all the time. Goes out with the book of Matthew. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24. Saturday, verse 35. And this is the Amashiach speaking. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour know it no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So even the Mashiach doesn't know when the day of the Lord is going to be. But he's ready though. But he's ready to make wars on the enemy. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So what was going on in the days of Noah? Wickedness, man. Okay. Men dress like women, men acting like women, women acting like doggone men. You get the little boys being girls, you get the little girls being doggone boys. Okay? Men, men with men, women with women. Okay? People eating all the abomination food. You Latinos are not supposed to eat pork and shellfish. That goes against the dietary law. Did y'all know yesterday was a Sabbath? Did you all know today is the Sabbath? Until this evening, until the sun goes down. So the Sabbath started from yesterday. Sundown to sundown. It's not Friday to Saturday. Because in the days of Noah, they that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. Marrying and giving marriage until the day that Noah entered to the house. So life is good for people who are married, go to your little parties, go to get your barbecue ready for Labor Day weekend. You're not giving glory to Auntie Yahweh, you're not giving glory to God for waking your sorry, your sorry, useless ass up. No, you think you you're in control. Still doing wickedness. Yeah, you get a whole buzzard over there. Dog on gotta be at least 70 years old. You gotta make a living sign up on the dog on sign. And you're so proud. You're so proud. There you are. That's not even a job. But you're proud. surprise when the Lord returns okay it's gonna be a big surprise now the Lord is visiting this place okay through the judgments you have a shortage of food you have the waters contaminated the air is contaminated you people are getting sick most of you people bow down and took the C-19 juice you will take another juice and they're gonna have for the Mpox which is a monkey pox Bill Gates and Linda Gates already said that people are going to really, 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 really pay attention in this next lockdown. And after this lockdown is uh, stopped, there will be nothing left of Great Babylon in America. Lord willing, I can do a video on that, expand on that. Because if you have so many businesses that have been, so many businesses that have been out during the first lockdown, which was a simulation, imagine what it's going to be like when there's actual dead bodies all across the street. There's dead bodies on the ground. Nobody's picking the garbage. Then now the seas are really starting to spread. You have a shortage of water. Your society falling down. People dug on robbing the supermarkets. They're robbing each other's house. They're killing each other. Bodies all over the streets. 
and nobody's picking up the dead bodies. Do you think people are going to get up and go to work? Do you think the doctors are going to go to work? Do you really believe that? Pick up all the dead bodies that's gonna be strolling across the place here in El Paso. Go! Go to your city here. It's about two hours, it's a two hour drive. How many of you people have a walk 10 miles or 15 miles or 50 miles in your path? You have it. Most of you can't even walk from here across the Dogon Street. It's so amazing. It's so weak. So when the food runs out, what are you going to do? And that's judgment that's coming. It's going to be on all front. Protecting your house, hungry, day and night. No gas, so you get to walk everywhere. This word is like fire. See, this is what talks this talks about the prophets. Fire coming out of their mouth. See, this word is like fire to people. See, because if you wicked, and if your whole life is determined by what you believe here in Great Babylon America, this is gonna burn you. This is gonna burn your spirit. This is gonna burn you to the core because you don't want to hear this. You don't want to hear it, you're gonna die. You don't want to hear there's no hope for you. You dog on no one here, you're a nothing. In this society, but that you're a special people, though. So, see, oh, wake it all back when I took a car from order to go back over there. But see, that's how it goes, people. All right, Lord willingly, left was edified to let's close up and give an all going on the two. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Kitash, Shalom.